Can you feel it, people? There was a buzz in the air, and that can only mean one thing. Caesar Fever. <laughs> Millions watch him rehabilitate aggressive, scared, and compulsive dogs on his Nat Geo series, The Dog Whisper. Now America's favorite canine coach is here with us this morning for a couple of segments. Ladies and gentlemen, Caesar Milan, how about a round of applause for this man? All right, quick little segment here. We want to talk yes. about walking a dog. Yes. Some of the problems people have with walking dogs, they don't do it correctly. So right. we've got little Ava here who is, uh, look at the eyes. Who's going to be our can you look? Can you get in on the eyes on Ava, please? Beautiful eyes. Now, this, this will be, for me, the, the wrong way of walking a okay. dog. So a lot of people yeah. just put the leash on it yep. and they take the dog for a walk, and then they end up in this position here. So the dog finish pulling the person. Now Ava's walking you. Exactly. So my recommendation is always put the leash all the way in the top. Yep. So this, this way you can guide easily, calmly. They're going to protest in the Come beginning. On, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> then you bring a dog into following you. Yep. So this way you can have a comfortable walk versus a walk that the dog is pulling you. See, it's no tension on the leash, there's no tension on my arms, there's no tension on my shoulders. You can always bring a treat, reward the behavior. So it's always about being the leader, correct? Showing Calm the dog? Calm and assertive, that's what I say. This way, I wasn't calm at all, watch this. So let's go, about just see, I, I just pull back and then she start pulling me. So what exactly. I do is this. no control there. So you get to see a lot of people walking the dog like this. I'm walking the dog! Okay, now that's... But you're not really walking the that's dog. That's a big dog. What would you do with a puppy? Like, oh, let's what? say, let's bring Puppy's little Angel. Puppy's much easier. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll handle Ava for a second. Ava, you handle Ava. Ava, you stay with me. Yes. Puppy's much easier. Okay. With, they love especially them, with little right, ones, you, you have to yeah, you encourage them. First of all, they have to become comfortable with the leash. Yep. So for them to become distracted with anything is not a problem. Okay. They just have to be, get comfortable with the leash in the beginning. Got it. And so right now, she's just okay. very comfortable with the other dog. So you invite. Does it take a long time for no, little puppies no, no. to get them? The most important part with a puppy is for them to become comfortable with the leash. It's unnatural to them to wear it. So they're going to try to fight it back. So always adjust to the puppy. There you go. That's right. She's a doll. What about the leash that you have there? We've just got the normal kind of like little little. Yeah, it's leash a simple here. leash. Really. Do you like the extended leash? Those, those well, you have to learn how to use all of them. It's yeah. really not the tool. It's how you use the tool. Yeah. And these dogs, I'll they're tell they're you, they're so so beautiful. Yeah, let me grab this one. And now, of course, I'm in I'm in the wrong position there right you here. Go. Uh oh, somebody's <laughs> gonna go find the bushes. Somebody, That's how somebody my take Ava. Walk the dog. And she's about to go. <laughs> Angel, you did is. you did so well. Isn't she good. You did so well. How many people do actually call upon you on a year to year basis? Give me a, a number for people. Well, it depends what I house. am, but at least a hundred times a day. Oh, God, I love it. <laughs> okay, and now we bring in our dog whisperer, yeah, Betty Nguyen is here, and of course yeah. RJ is here, yeah, and Lonnie's on That's his way over. Lonnie. He loves animals as well. Interesting how calm he is with me. Look at the eyeballs. Oh, no, see, no, Wait, he, he's about to walk me. Right. Take it off. <laughs> Someone grab the dog. Very Betty, powerful. be the leader. Now, what was Betty was doing trying, wrong there? What was, you, what was Betty doing wrong? This one? Of course. Come, okay. Come here, Angel. Look at that guy. Let me have it. That dog is strong, though. Yeah, we just got to change the leash in a, in a place where it's easier to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that, it's working really well the there, beginning. Caesar. That's in the beginning. In the beginning. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, <laughs> now, grab the leash. Grab the leash. Any of the whispers. Now, here. Okay. Relax. Shoulders up. Now, walk. Come on, let's go. Hold on, let me, let's go. there you go, relax. Come on, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. See, it's easier. Look at the gate on that train dog me, now. Caesar. Yeah. Oh, You're yeah. Good I train people, Both by the way. me and the dog. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So hey. don't, don't use tension, just relax. Just relax. So, okay, that's so, right. So, yeah. I was using tension. Yeah. That was a problem. Betty, why don't you start walking like this? <laughs> like, yeah, you, exactly. like your skin. No, it's not about skin, it's just but, relax. But how do you direct without tension then? Oh, here. Let me show you. Uh huh. You use your body for that. So here. I see. So here, here, yeah, there's. Back. You see that leash? There's no tension so on it. The dog is in the back. Automatically, they go in the back. He's taking the leadership There's no tension role. on the leash. Yeah, yeah I, I, I gotta learn that. But if you do this, thing. you see this little dog. You haven't loved this little dog is right now. I love this dog. Caesar, I, I gotta tell you, I do a lot of rollerblading here in the city. I love and it. It seems like maybe like I don't know, seven out of ten dogs when I skate by them, they all have a little bit of. They an love you. No, they have an issue. No, they don't love me. They don't. They definitely don't love me. They kind of wanna. It's kind of fast, so it creates yeah. a play drive. Terrible. Or play drive. Either or. Really? Yeah. And you, just give, uh, you just give distance. I rollerblade all the time. Yep. I rollerblade with 15 dogs all the time. So it's, it's actually the easiest way to walk a dog. Plenty more with the Dog Whisperer coming up. You're watching the early show here on CBS. Way to go, Angel. You're a star. Look at this guy. Ava, nice job. Look at those eyes. Caesar Fever continues here on the early show. And when it comes to training canines, there is no bigger name than Caesar Milan. His uncanny ability to communicate with four legged friends on Nat Geo's Dog Whisperer has made him a pop culture icon to dog owners everywhere. Caesar is also a best selling author and recently launched his own lifestyle magazine, Caesar's Way. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. You have Appreciate your hands full with that I one. Yeah, look at you? this one. She's, she's, she's waking up. <laughs> there are plenty of
plenty of people, though, who do have their hands full with their own pet that they just love, but there are some little issues, and they wanted to ask you specifically, how do I deal? So let's take a look at our first viewer. Hi, Caesar. This is Bella, my eight-month-old Bernese Mountain Dog, and I have a question. Every time my kids walk by her, she bites their ankles and their hands, and I want to know how to keep my kids safe without making them afraid of the dog. You know, one of the things that I suggest in situations like that, when a dog is moving towards the kid, the kid have to actually stop and face, you know, and act, face the dog until the dog moves away. It, 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 it just takes time uh, uh, because the person has to be patient for the dog to move away. Because the, the dog has learned to move the kid away. So right. they have to practice the opposite. It's, it's a very simple concept, but patience is key. Absolutely. And, you know, there are others who worry about the dog that just con continuously barks. Um, let's take a listen to this question. Hi, Caesar. These are my dogs, Cooper and Phoebe. Uh, they bark at everything, at another dog. They want to go out. They to play. It's incessant barking, and it's really annoying. What could I do? <laughs> yeah, how do you stop a barking dog? Well, that's actually a pack. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a package. Yeah, the, the, the key here is not to focus on two dogs. One of them is triggering the behavior. Oh. So we have to find out find which, which one. one that's is. right. And then you focus on, on, on that particular uh, pack member. So and there are some dogs, too, that not only barks at people, bikes, cars, but especially bigger dogs. You know those little bitty dogs that just yap, 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 yap at the bigger dog? How do you stop that? The little dogs? Uh -huh. See, the little dogs... To me, size doesn't mean anything, you know, but uh, many times people, when they see a little dog, they don't really address this, the problem right away because it's cute or, right. he's, you know, or he's probably talking or saying something. But I, I, I address the same, the same way with the calm, assertive energy. So I don't know if you've seen when I do. Right. Yeah. So, it, do. Yes. That's all so it takes. It, well, because I mean it. Many times people don't do it. Don't. No, mommy gets embarrassed. Oh, you know, so people are not really uh, emphasizing how serious they are. All right. You know, and, and so well, they... this is a serious question because it can ruin a carpet, a couch, and all of those things. Take a listen. Hello, Caesar. This is my dog, Albert. Uh, I have a little problem. Recently, he's begun peeing in the house once a day. Um, I took him to the vet, and he doesn't have a medical problem. I wonder if you can tell me what to do. Besides diapers, of course. Besides that, well, see, one thing that I would like to know is uh, that is, is it a dominant behavior? Is it how, how is she empowering this dominant behavior? Because many times people answer to their dogs when the dogs bark, when the dog uh, uh, goes to where the leash is and the person put the leash on. Every time the dog controls the relationship, urination is part of reminding who controls the behavior. Oh, I, yeah. yeah, like I'll fix you. Take a look at this. <laughs> I'm going to remind you who controls. I'm in control. That's right. All right, here's another question for you. Hi Caesar, this is my dog Cora and she likes to chase anything that moves, be it people on bicycles or rollerblades, uh, squirrels, basically anything. Um, so I was just wondering what I could do to help her uh, not go and chase people down all the time. You know, I I'm just finished to write that my last book and I, I addressed that behavior mm -hmm. where you can actually redirect. You don't want to stop this chasing behavior because it's natural. Natural, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you actually want to provide an area or, or an activity where they can actually practice it. Because you Excellent. don't want to, in a way, kill the spirit of chasing. Because it's what a dog does. That's exactly. What the dog does. And sleep, like this little one right here. You have a big project coming up this summer. Tell us about that. Well, I have the first great dog adventure. You know, I partnered with Best Western uh, Hotels, which He's is the best friendly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't read, I got to say the message. Uh, and we, we're doing a, a wonderful adventure in, in uh, San Diego, which mm -hmm. people are going to come and learn how to have a vacation with their dogs. So I'm always looking really? for ways where I can improve people's life and their dogs, and at the same time, uh, promote the foundation all the you know the proceeds are going to help the foundation that we have the Milan Foundation which we help uh, dogs to be rescued rehabilitated rehome and we also provide education for children well and these dogs right here are up for adoption if you want a sweet little puppy who just sleeps all the time this little precious one is perfect for you the North Shore Animal Shelter Caesar thanks Thank so you. much for Thank your you information yes. and your advice today. Thank you everybody a lot happens early on the early show weekday mornings on CBS